South Korea know a thing or two about military involvement. They need to keep their vehicle fleet state-of-the-art to be ready for any incoming threats from their northern neighbors. This is why they have developed one of the most recent infantry fighting vehicles that makes sure troops are delivered to the battlefield safely and securely. Introducing the K-21, an IFV that's proved very popular with other armies around the world. This would then be developed into the AS-21 Redback. Let's find out more about how South Korea's jewel in its armored vehicle crown became a jewel in Australia's. The K-21 Next Generation Infantry Fighting Vehicle was developed for the Republic of Korea Army to replace the existing K-200 series IFVs. It was first developed by Doosan Infracor. In late 2008, Doosan DST, the manufacturer of this new IFV, was created by spinning off the company's defense industry business from its parent company. The Redback has been designated by the ROK Army as K-300 or XK-21 KNIFV. In 2003, the South Korean Army awarded a contract worth around $77,000 to Doosan DST to develop a prototype of the new IFV. To get the Redback ready for market, 11 defense equipment suppliers, including the Agency for Defense Development, contributed. Two years after it received its designations, Doosan DST delivered three prototypes of the K-21 to the ROK Army. Production then began in 2009 after 10 years of continuous development. The AS-21 Redback is an IFV based on the original K-21 version. It's being offered as part of the Australian Army's Land 400 Phase 3 IFV program. Ryan Mittal Defense's Lynx IFV and Redback IFV were shortlisted for the program in 2019. The Land 400 Phase 3, also known as the Mounted Close Combat Capability Requirement, is worth 15 billion Australian dollars, and its mission is for the Australian Department of Defense to acquire 450 IFVs and 17 maneuver support vehicles for their army. The Department of Defense signed contracts worth 50 million Australian dollars with Hanwha and Rheinmetall in October 2019. Hanwha Defense delivered the first two Red Rock IFV prototypes to the Australian Army to be tested in July 2020. The third prototype was shipped in December of that year. In March of the following year, the Australian Army received three Redback IFV prototypes. Two of these were for evaluation and the remaining one for blast testing. The integration of the Iron Fist Active Protection System with the Redback IFV was demonstrated in late 2020. Israeli Spike LR-2 anti-tank guided missiles were also test-fired from the vehicles in early 2021. The Redback is an advanced, well-armed and well-protected vehicle. It is among the most protected IFVs in the world today. It weighs a huge 42 tons and can be classified as a heavy IFV. The in-arm type hydropneumatic suspension unit helps with reducing the overall weight of the vehicle when compared to traditional IFV designs. The armored vehicle is manned by three crew members, including a driver, commander, and gunner. Its rear compartment is capable of housing eight dismounted troops. The vehicle will offer armor protection options from STANAG 2 levels 2 to 6 and will be equipped with an advanced active protection system that can defend incoming line-of-sight guided anti-tank missiles and projectiles. The Israeli Elbit's Iron Fist APS, equipped with integrated radars and electro-optics, also helps the Redback to detect, classify, and counter several threats. The armor of the vehicle was developed in cooperation with Plasson. The hull and turret provide all-around protection from 30mm armor-piercing rounds. The Redback has a two-man turret. It's armed with a 30mm Mark 44S Bushmaster II automatic cannon. This fires 30 by 173 mm ammunition used by 19 nations, including the United States, United Kingdom, and other members of NATO. The Redback can also use advanced munitions like programmable airburst munitions or proximity-fused rounds. 
For these advanced rounds, the cannon is fitted with a fuse setter. If needed, the 30mm cannon of the Red Rock can be easily upgraded to a 40mm cannon. For this, only three parts need to be replaced, and no modifications to the turret are needed. As well as the cannon, there's also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, as well as a remotely controlled weapon station. This is highly versatile and can be armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, 7.62mm general purpose machine gun, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. This launcher can be armed with two Spike LR2 anti-tank guided missiles with a range of 5.5 kilometers. Estimations suggest that these missiles penetrate more than 900 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive armor. This means it's capable of destroying most main battle tanks. When the launcher isn't being used, it tucks into the turret along with its missiles. The Redback also features state-of-the-art sensors. The fire control system is able to find and track targets as far away as 3.7 miles. The vehicle also has IFF sensors. This infantry fighting vehicle is powered by an MTU eight-cylinder diesel engine, which generates a power output of 1,000 horsepower. The power pack enables the vehicle to run at a maximum speed of more than 65 kilometers per hour under asphalt roads and 40 kilometers per hour in off-road conditions and attain a maximum range of 520 kilometers. The composite rubber track system fitted to the Redback ensures improved mobility over rough terrains. The Redback project was a collaborative project with several contractors involved. Hanwha collaborated with Shoal Group to finalize the design of the IFV to meet the Australian Army's requirements and develop logistics and training system concepts. This Shoal-led team included more than 30 Australian experts. Susi Defense was also contracted by Hanwha Defense for the supply of CRT systems for the AS-21. Elbit Land Systems, a defense electronics company which is based in Israel, supplies the Iron Fist APS already mentioned, while Raphael Advanced Defense Systems handles the Spike missile for the Redback. The Redback has taken a long road before becoming the primary IFV in the Australian Army. Its origins lie in Korea, but its story is of a Korean and Australian collaboration. Hanwha Defense has received an Australian order for 129 Redbacks, but the vehicles will be produced in Australia. It is the first time when the Australian Army will have a dedicated infantry fighting vehicle. The vehicle has proved so popular that the South Korean military themselves have tested it in their own country, and in 2022, this IFV was also trialed in Poland. What do you think about the Redback IFV? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.